गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई फील इमेंस प्लेजर टू बी हियर अगेन फॉर माय कोर्स फ्लाइट मैकेनिक्स इन दिस कोर्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एयरक्राफ्ट परफॉर्मेंस व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट एयरक्राफ्ट परफॉर्मेंस इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम ग्राउंड रन टू टैक्सी टू टेक ऑफ टू क्लाइंब क्रूज डिसेंट loiter and the landing as of now i have covered some topic about flight mechanics today i am going to take drag and the drag reduction techniques i am dr vaidhu duvedi professor from institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad india the overview for the today's lectures are first i will discuss about introduction of drag then what is the drag drag is the rearward force that opposes the motion of the aircraft so if you see here this is the aircraft aircraft will have the weight here this is the weight which is in the downward direction and to counter this weight we need a lift and this is in the upward direction due to this motion of the aircraft there will be a drag this is the drag and this drag has to be countered by a force which is called the thrust so this is the drag so we are talking about the drag here and drag is the force which is acting in the parallel to the direction of the flow or opposite to the direction of the motion of the aircraft so we will be discussing about drag in today's lecture so we will see the types of drag types of drags are generally divided into the following categories one is the parasite drag this consist of form drag skin friction drag and then interference drag so the parasite drag which is also called the cd knot that we will be discussing this cd knot consist of form drag skin friction drag and the interference drag another is another type is the lift induced drag and in this lift induced drag we can okay, have the drag which is drag which is generated due to production of production of lift so this you have to understand very well now again it is a continuation of types of drag parasite drag parasite drag is a drag caused by moving a solid object through a fluid medium in the case of aerodynamics more specifically a gaseous medium so if any object like aircraft this aircraft is moving in this direction so the flow will the air or gas air will move in this direction so there will be a force which is acting in this direction in the direction of the air flow and that is called the drag and when we talk about the parasite drag it is due to its shape due to its uh, skin friction and all so here we have the form drag form means the shape form drag it is also called the profile drag or the pressure drag arises because of the form of the object the general size and the shape of the body in the most important factor in form drag bodies with the larger apparent cross section will have a higher drag than the thinner bodies slick designs are designs that are streamlined and change cross section area gradually are also critical for achieving minimum form drag so the shape of the body is very important if you see here this is one body like this and if the flow is going in this direction flow will be moving in this and lot of vertices are formed here so this is this will give the high drag 
And same thing if I make a circle and the flow is in this direction, flow will go like this, flow will go like this and there will be less vertices and if you take the airfoil like this, flow will come from this direction and it will, flow will move like this, flow will move like this, a very small amount of vertices are there, it is called vertices. Uh, so here high drag and here is the medium drag, medium drag and here is the low drag. So aerofoil we use for the low drag and this is depend upon the form, the shape of the body, how the body is configured. If it is very sleek, like nowadays we have the car and bike, they are designed in such a way that it looks like a very aerodynamically sleek design. And in this way, the streamline is not detaching and it is always attached flow, flow separation is not taking place. So the very good design we can achieve. But if it is blunt like this, then a, a high amount of drag will be there due to the separation of the flow due to the separation of flow. So this is called the form drag. Lift induced drag, it is lift induced drag in aerodynamics. Lift induced drag, induced drag or vertex drag or sometimes drag due to lift. There are different names. First one is the lift induced drag. Another is the induced drag. Third one is the vertex drag. Fourth one is uh, lift due to drag due to lift is a drag force that occurs whenever moving object redirects the airflow coming at it. This drag force occurs in airplane due to the wing or a lifting body redirected air to cause lift and also it occurs in cars and air wings that redirect air to cause a down force. So it is happening due to the down was. If you see here, this is the airfoil flow is going from here and it is, it, it, uh, this is here a down force. So if it is velocity vector is this, as it is reaching to the airfoil, this velocity vector will change like this. So there is, this is the down was W. This is the down was, this is the V vector and this is the V prime. Now the new, it, it is a local velocity and this local velocity is influenced by this downwash. So this downwash is creating this um, induced drag. Uh, so this drag is lift dependent drag as an, and it is directly related to the uh, velocity. It is this drag or CDI is one by V. It is inversely proportional to the V. Another type of drag which is happening due to the sonic wave. Wave drag is the component of the drag on aircraft that is blade, tips and projectiles moving at a transonic and the supersonic speed due to the presence of the shock. So this you can see here, the shock waves are formed. These shock waves will generate the drag and if you, it is Mach number and this is the drag. So up to 0 0.6, it is very slow increase. As you increase to 0 0.8 and one, all of sudden like this. So this is called the wave drag. This wave drag is happening due to the shock wave formation as shown in this diagram. This is thus due to the shock waves. This drag is generated on the aircraft. So we can show this thing depiction of total drag with each component. So here that uh, here is the total drag. This is the total drag and this is depend and here is the air speed. So if you see here, we have here induced drag and induced drag is inversely proportional. So CDI is inversely proportional to V and the CD naught is proportional to V square. So if you see here, this is the form drag, the green color, this is the form drag and this is the induced drag and there is intersection between this. So this is the total drag and this is the, your total drag line. This is shown from, this is the total drag line. So it is summation of induced drag plus 
minimum uh, this uh, form drag so total drag cd is equal to cd naught plus kcl square here is the this is the induced drag induced drag and this is the form drag or parasite drag so this is the net drag this is the net drag there is the summation of induced drag and the form drag now I will talk about the parasite drag and this you can see how this parasite drag is developed and as of now we have understand that this parasite drag is a uh, pressure drag or form drag plus skin friction drag, wave drag and interference drag. If you combine this all four types of drag it becomes the parasite drag. So this pressure drag or the form drag due to pre pressure field in the boundary layer around the component. So if there is a, this you can see here the form drag here, if there is a body and the flow is moving in this direction, a force will be generated in this direction and this is the form drag here due to shape of this body. If we have here a smooth, a smooth surface, drag will be less and if it is the rough surface, it is skin friction, drag will be more. And if you see here, if you have the, like this blunt body, drag is high if it is streamlined body it is low so as per the shape of the body that is why it is called the form drag the form is shape and it is due to the pressure difference so we give the name as a pressure drag skin friction drag drag due to the surface friction in the boundary layer around the component so th this is called the skin friction drag and we have the interference drag, wave drag, this I have discussed the drag due to the shock wave in supersonic field and interference drag, it is the interference of the flow between the wing and the fuselage, between the fuselage and the engine, between the fuselage and the uh, landing gear, wing and the engine, wing and the landing gear and so on. There will not be the same flow if you take a individual component. So a drag will be generated, that drag is called the interference drag. Now the, the profile drag, the amount of profile drag associated with the body is drag is equal to half rho u square a cd where cd is a drag coefficient, a is a area, u is a velocity and rho is a density of the air. For car and the missiles and other bodies, the cd is on the projected area perpendicular to the oncoming flow or the frontal area. So how much the frontal area is there that is depend upon that. So if you see here, this is the your frontal area. Here the flow is, is taking. So this frontal area will play the role for generation of of the drag. And this a simulation is shown here by the help of the software. And this you can see that it is a streamlined and this is the blunt line. This will have the more drag and this will have less drag that we have to understand about that okay now the skin friction drag skin friction arises from the friction of the fluid against the skin of the object that is moving through it skin friction arises from the interaction between the fluid and the skin of the body and is directly related to the wetted surface the area of the surface of the body that is contact with the fluid. So how much area it is uh, coming in contact with the body where if you we have the more friction or the skin is not smooth the more drag will be there. As with other component of the parasite drag skin friction follows the drag equation and rises with the square of the velocity. So this drag is also rises with the square of the velocity. <laughs> total profile drag, we have to understand that. Total profile drag, the total profile drag of the wing, tail, fuselage, engine, landing gears, all vertical fins, all this thing is called the skin friction drag and it is the skin friction plus pressure drag is called the total profile drag. The pressure drag portion can be considered by applying an appropriate factor 
to the skin friction drag. So this, if you know the skin friction drag, we can calculate the pressure drag. The pressure drag of aerodynamic surfaces like wing, airplane, tailplane, etc. depend on the aerofoil thickness ratio. So this um, pressure drag is depend upon the thickness of the airfoil. A thicker airfoil will have a larger adverse pressure gradient. So this is the larger adverse pressure gradient on its rear portion with will thickness of the boundary layer and increases the pressure drag. So just I will discuss about adverse pressure gradient. So if this is the aerofoil and if I am it is moving like this and if I change the more angle then what will happen flow will go like this and it will go like this. So if you see here this, 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 this is the one, two and three. So in this and if this is the control volume so if you see here the one will have less area three will have the most area. So at the three area is more so pressure will be here v1 v2 v3 so as the area is more pressure will also be more so velocity here less velocity here more velocity so v1 is greater than v2 is greater than v3 and pressure p3 is greater than p2 is greater than p1 so here pressure this pressure will try to force this thing and this is called the adverse adverse pressure and the gradient between each point is is called the gradient so in this way the, due to the velocity difference at each position of the airfoil you will have the different pressure and due to this pressure gradient is generated. Now I will talk about the interference drag. Interference I have shown that if there is an aircraft this aircraft will have a number of parts like the, this is the wing, this is the tail, here is the engine, here is the landing gear okay so this is landing gear this is the engine this is the wing this is the horizontal tail this is the fin this is the canopy this is the nose okay so if you see here we have different parts here these parts and this is called fuselage so this there is an interference of the flow between the fuselage and the wing, wing to the fuselage, wing to the engine, engine to the landing gear, landing gear to the uh, tail to wind. Each and every component will be disturbed. The flow of each and every is interfered. It is not working in the same way. If you take the independent wing and you take the only fuselage and you take the wind tunnel testing, you will find that the results are not same if you assemble all the parts. So there is a interference between each component of the aircraft and these components are making that there is a special type of drag which is called the interference drag. A characteristic that is dominant in bodies in transonic flow is the concept of interference drag. So the stronger shock wave induces an increase in wave drag that is termed interference drag. Interference drag plays a role uh, throughout the entire aircraft that is in nacelles, pylon and impenage. This we can see here that how these things are working. So boundary layer and the pressure distribution of two bodies in the close proximity in a moving airflow can interact. This may result in a net combination of drag higher than the sum of the independent drag value of the two bodies. Wing fuselage interference drag could, could be as 4% to a wing profile drag. So if there is an interference for fuselage 
and the wing nearly 4% additional of drag is generated okay so this type of drag uh, it is called the interference drag so I will discuss now the drag reduction techniques. So as of now we have seen that there are different types of drag and just I have depicted in a one diagram. So drag is equal to profile drag plus induced drag plus wave drag. This wave drag is con coming to play for the supersonic aircraft when Mach is near to 1 and this Mach number is 0 0.8 to above. This will and here if you see the profile drag consist of the pressure drag plus skin friction drag in this we have sometimes called the form drag associated with form factor laminar skin friction drag laminar or the turbulent a big difference induced drag due to the lift generated vorticity shed into the wake wave drag drag due to the generation of the shock wave wave drag due to the lift, wave drag due to the volume and here we have the profile drag independent of the lift, additional profile drag due to the lift, the drag of from 2D airfoil at lift, drag due to lift, zero lift drag. So this we have already discussed only I have given a summary here. So now we will discuss how to reduce the drag. It is called the drag reduction technique. Most drag on modern turbojet airline and other large jet aircraft is caused due to the skin friction drag and the induced drag. So they are the two main important drags. That is the first is the skin friction drag and this another one is the induced drag. These forms of drag are roughly 75% of the total drag and reducing them is a major factor in decreasing fuel consumption. So if we are able to re reduce the then it is trying to decrease the fuel consumption. The first technique to reduce the induced drag is the winglet which I am going to discuss first the uh, induced drag how to reduce the induced drag. So we, winglets are we are developed to solve the problem of the parasite drag caused by other types of vortex suppression without any such device the airflow around the tip is so if you see here if i make one wing a uh, like this so what will happen due to the high pressure at the bottom and low pressure at the top flow will start moving from bottom to top and there is a circulation of this thing in both side both side of the wing there is a circulation to avoid that if we make at the wing tip if we make like this this is called winglet this winglet was developed by the white comp in 1964 and he has patented and after that all aircrafts were equipped nowadays with winglet so the winglets are very important devices to reduce the drag of the aircraft Increase the second method is to increase aspect ratio. So first one is the winglet, winglet to for the induced drag reduction, and second is the aspect ratio increase. If you see some birds, those who are intercontinental, like crane and albatross and all, they have very high aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is the ratio between the span to the cord or it is the b square by s where b square is the is square of the span so aspect ratio is equal to b square by s where s is the area b is a span for rectangular wing it is b by c where c is the chord so the second major drag component is the lift induced drag the classical way to decrease the lift induced drag is to increase the aspect ratio of the wing. This has done, this has been done in the past and the A340 wing aspect ratio is reached to 9.3. So means the wing in this direction, wing size is to be increased. 
However, wing aspect ratio is a compromise between aerodynamic and the structure characteristics and it is clear that for a given technology, there is not a great possibility to increase aspect ratio. The alternative is to develop the wing tip devices acting on the tip vertex which is at the origin of the lift induced drag. So here this you can see here it is the winglet and here is the box, box winglet. So these are different types of winglets. Nowadays if you see the birds at the tip you have like this, like this, like this. This is also making a bio inspired winglet. If you see eagle and all, uh, they are very powerful and uh, they have like this at the tip, they are okay, like this and they can move like this. So accordingly, they can, it is useful. Uh, this uh, different types of winglets we can use for different purposes. So I will discuss here the different uh, winglet, how it is working. If you see here, some is, uh, Statistics are here. If you see, it is without winglet here, without winglet, and this is the with winglet. If you see here, the flow uh, here it is full moving like this, but here it is hitting and it is coming back. Means there is no circulation, no circulation. Vertex are reduced. And here vertex are more, more vertex. These vertex, one side is very high, another, if, if you put this winglet, it will be reduced. 5% emission it can reduce and 5% saving of the fuel. And it is uh, 500,000 of gallons of fuel one aircraft can save. This you can see here that if this is the winglet, the vertex are very very small here but if it is not there if the winglet not there very high amount of vertex are generated so this will give high drag high induced drag and if you put the winglet low induced drag will be generated so like this we can do we can find out the effect of the vertex and effect of the winglet on the induced drag. Now I will discuss about the reduction of skin friction drag. So one part of we have done that is induced drag. Induced drag we have the two method. One is the increase the aspect ratio means increase the length comparing to the cord of the wing. If you do so your induced drag will be reduced. Another way is the your winglet so different winglets we can use i have given some example so these are the few methods for induced drag now i will discuss about skin friction drag skin friction drag can be reduced is by maintaining the laminar airflow so it is skin smoothness you make very smooth the wing and body of the aircraft laminar flow airfoil if we use the airfoil which is laminar flow laminar flow control Removal of the thickening boundary layer by the suction. So these are the methods by which we can use the drag reduction by skin friction drag. Turbulent skin friction drag reduction. A skin friction drag reduction can be obtained with the use of passive boundary layer manipulator. Among the various devices, V grew riblets have demonstrated substantial reduction up to 8% of the local skin friction drag. So in this different uh, methods are there, uh, we, we grew riblets like this, like this if we make on the wing and some part, so it is called the turbulent skin friction drag reduction. Shock control devices, if you want to reduce the uh, shock waves or wave drag, then we have to make this bumps these bumps are used to reduce the shock wave which are formed during supersonic flights. Next is very important and so many aircrafts are using. If you can see here, 
these are the vertex generator this vertex generator if you see that this is the wing layer of different layer at different positions we are making like this so this if flow is going from here it will accelerate it further it will accelerate it so like this we can use the vertex generator it is shown in the three layer this is the first layer this is the second layer and this is the third layer so a small small protruded part is a vertex generator is an aerodynamic device consisting of a small vane usually attached to a lifting surface or airfoil such as an aircraft wing vertex generators are most often used to delay flow separation so the main purpose of this thing is the delay flow separation that is the purpose so if you are putting this thing and initially it was detaching here if you put this thing it will go up to here like this so this much percentage your flow is delayed and more lift and less drag is produced so this is the function of the vertex generator which are normally used in most of the aircraft uh, to delay the flow angle of stall stall angle is increased drag is reduced these are the few advantages of vertex generator in the next lecture i will be discussing about introduction to drag polar estimation of drag polar formulation of drag polar lift concept for airfoil and the wing concept of the wing tip vertices induced drag and formulations 2d lift curve slope these topics i am going to discuss in my next please be tuned for that we have the references anderson jd junior aircraft performance and design international edition magra hills first edition 1999 sl by me aircraft performance theory and practices aia education series these are the two major references there are so many other books also you can re refer the nptel lecture of dr pk ghosh iit kanpur very nice lecture it will be very useful for you all any questions you are welcome to ask you can also mail me to my mail yd dwedi at the rate gmail.com oh this is my mail address it will be nice if you can mail me thank you very much for the joining please like and subscribe this channel this will be very useful for all aeronautical and aircraft related people till then goodbye and be tuned for my next lecture thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates